Greetings everyone, this is Dale Young Francis 60 here, and I'm here to do another review on 118 scale vehicle. Let's go on to the review. Well, as you can see, I have a the True Heroes line Apache Attack Helicopter, and I managed to get my hands on an a brand new one from eBay for a reasonable price about over a year ago and I haven't had a chance to um, do a review on it so as you can see let's go admire the box before we open it and see what the contents inside and you can see it's the usual I'm still it's very in um, the usual um chat made figures are in there the drums the gas canisters the big guns of a shotgun that doesn't fit over proportion of a chat made figure and uh, as you can see the artwork is not bad it's very enticing um they don't make true heroes that much anymore but i know there's a there's a different license game license now they're going it's called hero force more on that but here is the attack helicopter out of the box like i said the shotgun for chat me drums a gas canister a pair of those of each but that's not what i'm here for the figure i'm here for the helicopter As you can see this apache is reminiscent to the lombo attack helicopter the some girl um many countries use this helicopters from the uk greece i believe um israel um maybe even the arab i don't know arab countries use it some part of it but we'll see uh, you gotta look it up but as you can see uh the it's just a toy that it's begging to be customized if you know my channel i love customizing on vehicles as much as i can and this is basically the cheap version of a bbi that came out many years ago and i was very thrilled i have no problems with the how it looks it's just it just needs to be colored it just need to be painted and customized it and you can see the ir sensors are there and the chain gun pivots back and forth and I, and look it's equipped with the rocket pods hegm missiles and those and sidewinder missiles to deal with those annoying fixed wing aircrafts aircraft and if you wonder why there's a um sidewinders well some apaches do carry those things as part of their hard point systems so the apache's been around for oh since the 80s and it's still ongoing and i expect it, to, it will still go on a few more decades and the army's using it currently overseas and some of the National Guard troops in here in the states. Yeah, as you can see, the missiles is not in this toy is very um close represented, but um there's like a chat me. They tend to make it hollow on the sides. Um, I recommend um if you have the chance to modify, it, do it. The missiles doesn't um individual doesn't um leave. It's, it's stuck there in a bolt, so. It's not that, though you can pull out the rocket pods, but they're not the missiles. They're the entire rocket rack is um. You can only pull that entire rack on uh, the ATGMs into that rack, and you can, I love the um dome in there. I believe that's part of the targeting system for the Apaches and the later versions, and. It's pretty cool. I like it. As for the pilot, well, 
here's the custom after I customize it and you can see it didn't took me that while it just I just spray painted it with um Tamiya um all drab and use Vallejo's paint just to deal with it and paint it black on some of them yep I just painted that thing with um much as I can and I did the customization it was just such a minimal um painting on this thing and I got it done within a day or so not a day but probably oh, two days but it and I did a little bit of modification a bit and I got me a uh, decals from eBay and I put US Army on them I even put like a little um little marking in there uh, you can't see it right now because of the camera angle but don't worry there's a still shot there's like a there's the pilot I changed them with um BBI figures from those elite ones that came in the little bird I took the pilots off that thing and just place it right there and I did a cock a little bit of painting on the cockpit individually the only thing that um was kind of hard to deal with is the um the cockpit canopy I had to paint from the back inside and I added some red paints in there for the lights and as you can see there's a little marking this is um Panzer Jaeger means um tank hunter in German you can't see it right now but don't worry you will see it in a another close-up video and for the tires I play in it black it's very minimalist this is one thing about love about this color it's very minimalist in the color and for the decals that's I managed to snag me right in there a good thing a good deal from eBay so if you want to look to customizing your helicopters go look from eBay and here it is um, sorry but it's blur I'm just zooming it out and zooming it back in yeah this is perfect for stop motion and it's a good buy for me because it's the most cheapest Apache that I can um get my hands on and just customize it and they're the missiles, the ATGMs, they can be removed. They can be removed except for the missile ATGM that it needs to be. It's on a rack, so that I had to paint separately. But once I got them there, it's it's done. And for for here, you can see I had to put a green stuff on where the markings in this side is because there's like a, those screw bolts are. You can see from here. Are just getting in the way from it if i put that in my decal it's just gonna ruin it so and here you can see panzer jaeger that's the other side that's basically its call sign tank hunter for german yep uh, as you can see there it is um i like the weathering i did with that it came out perfectly and it's pretty good and as you as you can see um these days um customization of 118 scale could be very easy now with 3d printing so i would i'm exploring that in the near future and here's a close-up on everything that i can do that i did with this helicopter and tell me what you think in the comment section if you guys can comment and just give me a like and a subscribe about it and i will be doing more on videos on 118 scale i got big so stay tuned on that one and this is the Deleon francis 60 here i am signing off so enjoy and stay safe